Hi, and welcome to another episode of Kanini Kitchen. I'm Kirby. I'm Hannah Messenger. And we are gonna make some amazing things today. But first off, I just wanna tell you a little bit about how I met Hannah. So we're in Nashville, and I entered a pie baking competition at our farmer's market. So I made a peach pie. And Hannah was one of the judges. And so we got to connect through that experience. It was super fun. It was, Kirby just said she didn't see me that day, but I saw her and I thought, <laughs> I have to know this woman. Her pie was so beautiful. I sent her a message and said, I see a lot of pies, but not a lot like this. Well, and that was, that meant so much to me. I was like, oh, for this person who is an amazing food stylist to tell me that my pie was a good looking pie, I meant so much. So uh, then we connected through that and we've just been looking for a time to get together and get in the kitchen together. Thanks, Instagram. Yes, thank you, IG. And today's the day, uh, so we're going to make great pizza. So Hannah, tell us like a little bit about the pizza, the recipe, and how we're gonna make it, because it's really neat. It's not your traditional pizza. So this is a recipe I developed for Lodge Cast Iron. They're my favorite client. Um, it's this really cool double-handled pan. It's called an everyday pan. I've got just half a cup of olive oil heating up in it. And what we're gonna do is make a white pizza. We'll make garlic oil in here, wipe it out, and we'll put the pizza right in it and bake it. It's gonna have um, our garlic oil, some shaved butternut squash, That's beautiful. Uh, ricotta cheese, and green onions, and a little bit of red pepper flakes on the top when we're done. I can't wait. And then this is a really cool top. So Hannah was telling me a little bit about these different cast iron pots, or pans, really. Because what I think of that, I normally think the one that with the handle mm -hmm. that you can make different things in, but this one with the double handle, that's really neat. It makes it really easy to make pizza in is that you can pick it up in and out of the oven way easier. You don't have to mess around with a pizza peel. When I use a pizza <laughs> peel, my pizza always ends up on the bottom of my <laughs> oven. And like, Ooh, I really that, wanted that. <laughs> when you're hungry and you already want pizza so bad, nothing makes you more angry. <laughs> Um, so this will definitely save you from that. And we're gonna do a little trick with parchment paper to roll out the dough that makes it easy to transfer. And that's what we love, it's easy. Yes. And then this one actually comes with a lid too, which I'm not used to seeing a cast iron skillet yeah. or pan with a lid. So you were telling me about steaming in it. I learned all types of things. Yeah, it's really good for one pot meals, which I feel like are really popular right yes. now just because they're fast and they're good and they're easy. Yes. So. Awesome, and if people want to find you and learn a little bit more oh, about yeah. it, how should they find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram. My handle is hmmessenger. That's messenger with an I. Mm -hmm. Awesome, and then you can go look at all of her lovely pictures and then find a link to her website there. Yeah. So we're going to get started. This is a one pot kind of situation, mm -hmm. so it's gonna be delicious and quick and easy. You don't have to do tons of dishes. And tell us like about this pizza dough here, because you could make your own, but this is gonna be delicious, and it's again, pretty easy, so. Yeah, um, so this is just pizza dough from Whole Foods. You can walk up to where they sell slices of pizza and ask for it. It's a 20 ounce ball of dough, it's three bucks, and it'll make uh, two or three pizzas, depending on how thick you like mm -hmm. your crust. For me, the ideal size for this pan is eight ounces, so okay. we'll end up with two thin crust pizzas that are 12 inches and one personal pizza, oh, a small wow. one. A little uh, snack for later? Yeah. <laughs> and you can't beat that, so three bucks for like yeah. fresh, good dough. So whole foods. And kind of. I feel like one mistake people make when they're using store-bought dough is you have to let it sit out and come to room temperature uh -huh. for the yeast to come back to life. You can kind of see, you can tell it's, it's grooving because it's got these little bubbles in it um, and it's really nice and springy and light. It's actually doubled in size since I took it out of the fridge this okay. morning. So that's how you know it's ready to go. Okay. So it's giving you a little cue. I'm ready to make pizza. Mm -hmm. So that's a really um, good takeaway. So if you're using store-bought, don't just grab it out of the refrigerator and try to fight with it and roll it yeah. out and then wonder why is my pizza yeah. not what I want it to be. Um, the other thing about this, all the prepping is really easy. Smaller butternut squashes are gonna be a lot more simple to cut. I have an OXO peeler that's really nice and sturdy and all you do is make little ribbons. And you want like, I don't know, two big handfuls per, per pizza. Okay. It's not an exact science. And I like that it's, kind of thing. It's just a do what you think <laughs> is right situation. So let's get started. We have olive oil here heating over medium and I have 
three green onions. I chopped the light and white and the dark green part separately. Um, I also have some really, really roughly chopped garlic. I only use three cloves because look at this monster. But if you had um, like an earth sized <laughs> head of garlic, you could use four, you could use eight. The earlier you make your oil, um, you know, like if you made it earlier in the mm -hmm. week, the less garlic you'd want to use because yeah. it'll intensify as time goes on. So let's just get a little sprinkle of salt. So this has been going um, five minutes. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really take long. You just want to cook it over medium and you don't want anything to get brown or golden. You just kind of want the garlic to be soft a little soft and we're gonna pour it into this jar and let it sit while we get all of our other stuff ready and it'll keep the oil will keep soaking up that garlic flavor mm. and it smells so so good it's amazing keep mm. mine yes. it's really important you don't have any little pieces left in the pan because they'll smoke in your oven and maybe catch fire. So we're gonna <laughs> scrape out as many pieces as we can get and then we'll take a little a little paper towel and wipe it out too. I see one of these pans in my near future. Yeah, they're really <laughs> handy. All right, so I am gonna put some cornmeal down on a piece of parchment paper. Maybe just like a tablespoon. Okay. And that's gonna keep it from sticking and it's gonna give it that nice crispy texture mm. like you like on the bottom of a pizza. And then I'm just gonna eyeball, let's say, a generous third of this to get my eight ounce ball. I'm gonna put it down. Just give it a little smush. I'm gonna take a little bit of my oil and brush it on the top. Yeah, that looks really good. And then I'm gonna take a second piece of parchment paper and I'm gonna roll it out to be the size of my pan. Perfect. I think so. And I like these marble rolling pins because they're heavy. It puts gravity on your side and if you're short like me, you don't <laughs> have to be putting your back into it at a weird angle. Yes, that works out. And the other thing that's really cool about parchment paper is boop, you can rotate it. If you're looking to get this pretty thin, okay. and you want to roll out just like I do, roll out from the middle so you'll have your crust. And once I get it to, let's say, eight or ten inches, okay. you can kind of use your fingers and just feel where it's thicker or thinner. Oops, sorry, no problem. Take the edge of your hand and push out. Look at that. Just get your hands in there. Yeah. Love it. There are really easy ways to stretch it. Uh -huh. um, I just prefer this because it's kind of a no-fail method. Exactly. When I stretch it, I often drop it, <laughs> just like using a pizza peel. I drop a lot of things. <laughs> My mother-in-law calls me drop sea spillsies, so. <laughs> Whenever I can take precautions against it, I do. I'm just gonna say, I love the fail-safe method. Yeah. It's like, keep it in the paper, keep it on the counter, use your hands. <laughs> we can do that. Looking pretty good. Yeah, you just want it to be about the size of the pan and it'll shrink just a little bit, so make it a little bit bigger than you than you think okay. it should be. Kind of draw it. It's kind of therapeutic, right? It is. It's, I know I, I said on some other episodes, some people think that cooking has to be stressful. It's like you can just mm -hmm. kind of work out some things. Had a rough week? Yeah. I mean, just take it out on the day. <laughs> exactly. So here's the cool part. And I should mention, we have the oven preheating this yes. whole time at 550 degrees. You want it to be screaming hot because yes. this guy's only going to bake for six to eight minutes. Uh, what? Yeah. That's that's part yes. of what's going to make it really good. Like you get it from a real pizza place okay. and baking it yes. super hot. And then six to eight minutes. So you've got $3 dough, beautiful ingredients six to eight minutes in the oven. Like, yep. we can get this done. All right, here's the fun part, ready? Okay. And then it just peels right off. Beautiful. There you go. There's a little. Okay. 
And so okay. we're gonna leave the bottom parchment on there? We are, oh, and cool. it will not catch on fire in your oven, I promise. <laughs> you may have been thinking that, like, hmm. Yeah. She said get the bits out, because those might catch on fire, but mm -hmm. we're gonna put paper in there? Yeah, it's gonna work Parchment out. paper, so you, really a big part of this recipe is do not skimp on garlic oil. The yes. garlic oil is where it's at. So I'm gonna put a little more on. Okay. You want to make sure you get it on the crust as well, so it'll get nice and shiny and every little crevice there. Love it. You want to use really a quarter cup per pizza. Okay. And we're going to put it on the bottom, and we're going to put it on the butternut squash, and then we're going to put it on <laughs> twice more when the pizza comes out of the oven. This is applied liberally. Yes. <laughs> so what's the next step for our butternut squash? The next step is just to throw it on there. Okay. You just want to, and you want to use a little more than you think is right because it's gonna, it's gonna it's shrink gonna down. down. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna join you in the fun there. Thanks. These are pretty. Yeah. Little ribbons. So this might be a good meal. Like it sounds like you could do it pretty quickly on a weeknight, mm -hmm. but then it also might be really neat when you, ha if you have people coming over. Yeah. It looks pretty. Yeah. It looks more impressive than it is. <laughs> I think. It's an easy win because people are like, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Okay, Thank so you. I'm going to drizzle a little bit more oil on this. Okay. And I'm going to put a tiny bit of salt on and then we're going to throw it in the oven. Perfect. There you go. Okay. Left and right. It's really hard. <laughs> Left. <laughs> Let's do it. Ready to bake it. Okay, so our pizza just came out of the oven. I will say, if you're very brave, you can put your cast iron skillet in the oven and let it get screaming hot as well while you're rolling your pizza dough out. Be very careful putting your pizza <laughs> dough in, but you'll get an even nicer, crispier crust doing that. Um, so here's our pizza. It just came out of the oven. See, the butternut squash is totally cooked. It got some nice little crispy parts mm. on it, and it made this really nice little, uh, what's the word for that? Uh, I was saying it looks like a ribbon effect, yeah. but it's pretty. I'm sure there's an even better word for that, but it's really pretty and kind of crinkly. It's gorgeous. Super easy, just like that. Um, more garlic oil. <laughs> Make sure you get it all over the middle, and then I'm gonna brush it on the crust as well. Okay. Because um, it's bread, it's gonna soak it up and be delicious. Oh my gosh. Do you wanna hit some salt on here for yes, me while I do this? It. So I don't have to Tag figure out the team. difference between left and right again. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Okay. This beautiful ricotta is gonna make its way here on the bottom. So I'm just gonna do, I don't know. Five big spoonfuls. I'd say it's a scant half cup, but you can do, you know, whatever you like. You could do little shavings of Parmesan. Mm. Um, you could use just, you know, whatever you like that's soft and tasty. Mm. I wonder how this would be. I love goat cheese. Oh yeah, that would and I just really picked good. up some garlic herb goat cheese. So I wonder how that would even kind of play in with the flavor. Oh, yeah, might be good. I'm going to do just a little bit of red pepper flakes. Okay. Um, if you really like spicy food, and I do, you can also put a dried chili in the oil with the garlic before you start and do red pepper flakes. Ooh. So it has that, mm -hmm. picks up that spiciness in the oil. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. So fall. How do you feel? And um, more garlic oil. <laughs> when in doubt, more garlic oil. <laughs> Okay, and that's it. So gorgeous. Looks fancy, isn't really. I love this. All right, let's, let's eat it. Okay, let's try it out. So this garlic oil, I can't wait to taste this and try it out. How long would you keep this? Like, so we've got, got some in a little mason jar mm -hmm. here, and I can imagine like so many possibilities putting it on other things oh, yeah. that you're making. So how long would you keep this? I would put it in the fridge for sure, just because the garlic has water in it and that can make it go bad. Mm -hmm. It'll keep it in your fridge for a couple weeks though. So. Okay, very good. Um, I would just sit it out on the counter to let it come to room temperature okay. again before you use it. Okay. All right, so Are should we, we eat, eat some pizza? Let's yes. Do it. You know, we don't even need the plate, yeah, so we're just gonna pizza. get it there. <laughs> mm 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Okay. So this crust is a perfect thickness. Great mm -hmm. job with that. And then the butternut squash. That's not something that you traditionally think of when you think pizza. It's so delicious and it's cooked perfectly. It's a really, really nice flavor. And like you said, this is basically like fall in your mouth. Mm -hmm. It's really, really good. Yeah. And the garlic oil is awesome. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Never enough garlic. That's what I learned from marrying an Italian man. <laughs> this, you know, this needs a little garlic. Just <laughs> add more garlic. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Thank you. What's your favorite part about, about it? I like the... I like the spiciness. Like if mm -hmm. I made this just for me, it would be I would be crying right now. <laughs> it would be so spicy. I like that little hint of like a different texture and flavor with the green onions. Mm -hmm. If you watch some of my other episodes, I put green onions on almost everything. So it's so delicious, so good. Mm. And it's not mm. super heavy either. Mm -hmm. You know the green onions trick where you put them in water and they grow again. No. Mm hmm You never have to buy green onions again. What? Are you guys paying attention to that? I buy green onions like nobody's business. They're not expensive, they're like no. 88 cents, but I'm like always Still. buying them. Um, oh, okay. And then you can, I plant them in my garden as well, the, just the little tips of them, and they'll grow into be little spring onions next year. And I made chimichurri with them this what? summer. What? Mind blown. Okay, I'm doing yeah. this. I love fresh herbs. I love, love it. I'm not, I don't have a green thumb. Mm. Uh, so if you're making it sound pretty easy with these green onions, just put them in water. So I can do that. I can handle that. I have mm. a hot and cold green thumb. Like green <laughs> onions. Okay. Um, I have a, a wall of climbing spinach in my garden right now. Um, but I kill succulents. Like I can't, I can't keep <laughs> Our things alive inside, but okay. outside, outside is okay. You're good just with this. Mother okay. Nature waters it for me. Yes. Yeah, the only thing I have surviving right now out in my backyard is my curry plant. Mm. That's it. Heck, I might put some curry leaves on a pizza. I mean, yeah, <laughs> why not? You can make curry leaf oil. See? Aha! You might see an episode about that garlic <laughs> oil with curry leaves. So this has been like amazing and so much fun and delicious. So if I, which I do want one, wanted to get one of these pans mm -hmm. um, or any of you guys watching, like, how should I do that? Should I order it online? Is there a place where I can go get them mm -hmm. in person pretty easily? So they're sold at Williams Sonoma, and there's also a Lodge Cast Iron store in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee. If you're ever driving down I-24, you'll see a big billboard for it. You okay. cannot miss okay. it. Um, and that's definitely the cheapest place to buy them. <laughs> okay. but you can also order them online at lodgemfg.com. Okay, very cool. Okay. I can't wait to get one of these because this turned out perfect. And again, I would not think about cast iron skillet and pizza, so mm -hmm. thanks for showing this. Yeah, me. of so, course, this is so much fun. Yeah, this is awesome. So I hope you guys make this. Like, do not pass this up. And it was super easy and pretty economical too. So mm -hmm. grab the dough, get you butternut squash. And how much did we use? Not even a ton oh, of the no, squash. Like an eighth of a small butternut squash. So like this, this is stretchable. You, I could just see this on a beautiful platter, like multiple ones with some friends over. It's great. So definitely try this and comment below. What do you like cooking in a cast iron skillet? What type of pizza do you like? And definitely uh, make this, take pictures and tag us. We wanna see what you make. So thanks so much for watching and definitely check out Hannah's Instagram. Do you wanna tell them just one more time how they can find you? Uh, you can search my name, Hannah Messenger and my handle is HM Messenger with an I. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, thank you so much for watching. Bye.